I can't not number four here, Joseph. Okay. Serious topic. Uh I've been wanting to talk about this for a couple of days now. And uh this is a topic that has been circulating ever since Fable Three and Fallout Three were released on the same day. I don't know, maybe they were talked about earlier, but that's as far as I know of it. And it's which is better, Fable Three or Fallout no well, Fable Three or Fallout New Vegas. Fable series, Fallout series. And uh basically I have an opinion on this. And uh unlike other topics which is Xbox three sixty is better than PS three or PS three is better than three sixty. I mean the consoles but they're on two different I mean they're two, it's not really that comparable. It's like comparing Halo to Drake's Uncharted. They're big blast but big blockbuster titles but they're not in the same category. So I mean just be happy with what you got. But uh I really do want to compare these two games because I have a very strong, maybe some may say brutal, brutal uh, opinion on them, and I'm a I'm a big fan of both games. I actually did buy Fable Two uh, last. Well, when they released on the same day, I bought Fable Two instead of Fallout Three because uh, the reception for Fallout Three, I wasn't just I wasn't too excited about it, and I'm honestly playing Fable Three right now. And uh, I bought them, they weren't released on the same day this time, but they were released fairly close to each other, and I bought both of them this time. So, I'm a fan of both series. And, uh, they're easy to compare because they're both RPGs, and, uh, these games in particular, they're both about changing, kind of like, instituting a new world order. You're able to, you become king, and, uh, follow New Vegas. Uh, it's, um the state of Nevada how what's gonna happen to it and it depends on you and basically uh, to break down both games Fallout 3 well let's follow New Vegas and Fable 3 Fable 3 versus Fallout 3 I honestly my honest opinion pick Fallout New Vegas stop 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 and uh, there are some people who I, I've only seen it one way but there's probably vice versa who say Fable 3 is better than Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is stupid, and they've never played Fallout, Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 3 or anything. Uh, I'm sure it's vice versa. And uh, though some people say, well, Fallout 3 has lots of bugs. Fallout New Vegas, wow, why do I keep saying that? Fallout New Vegas has lots of bugs. Retarded loading screen, glitches, glitches. glitches. <clears throat> and while that's true, and that is extremely annoying, uh, I'm looking on a broader scale, as in the content of the game. Not the performance, because Bethesda, Bethesda acknowledge their mistakes and they're working on them. Not the performance, but uh, the overall concept. And my determining factor that really just pushed me over the edge to Fallout New Vegas is Fable 3 in the Fallout series is just kind of a humorous series. Now, don't get me wrong. I have not beat the game, and I've told this to some of my friends. I said, "No, no, no, you got to beat the game. It gets more serious later." Uh, that's not. That shouldn't be how it is, you know. In pretty much every side quest I've done, there's some joke. Even in the main mission missions, there's jokes, jokes, jokes. And I understand Fallout New Vegas has their fair share of jokes, fair share of funny things, but Fable Three, it just seems like it's unrelentless, you know. It, it it really it's really hard for me to get an emotional attached to something that's pretty much almost a hundred percent comedy. You know, I see them trying to attach emotion to it, but they can't really detach from the comic comedical area of the game. <clears throat> and uh, when you're playing an RPG, it's kind of defined as your world. You know, there should be little aspects of everything. I mean, maybe a little tip of comedy over drama and all that stuff would be okay. I mean, Fallout 3 does that kind of in a way. But I do think, I mean, Fallout New Vegas, and it is more of a drama aspect to this game because I think it's just a little more intense. But seeing Industrial Bowerstone doesn't really, I mean, it didn't really hit me as emotional as coming to a town and seeing 
people burned at the cross and murdered in a <clears throat> town hall on a fallout new vegas by kaiser's legion uh... i mean the people these armies these factions they really just grab out to you and they they invoke an emotional response wow i hate the powder gangers or the kings are just really my type of people that's what i automatically come out with after playing these side missions all this stuff it gives me a, a overall picture of what i want to do with this world whereas fable three it's kind of just like a jump and just kind of see what happens then whereas if i exit this guy uh... should i execute him or not well i mean i don't really know anything about him he's kind of a criminal and it's all it really falls back on wow do i really want uh... an evil appearance or do i want a dark awesome or do I want a light, good appearance? Or do I want my sword to be evil? Or do I want it to be whole? I mean, <clears throat> Fable 3 has really emphasized too much on the your actions changing the way you look. I mean, it is a very amazing feature. Don't get me wrong. And it, I love. I, I don't. I'm not saying they should take away from it or anything. I just say they should emphasize more on your actions. Uh, solely and let the appearance and just whole evolution of your actions fall into your hands as kind of a surprise not oh well if you're evil you'll get these kind of wings and then that kind of provokes your you to be like oh wow uh, I want to base my things on you just because I want that whereas in Fallout 3 I'm like It'll, it's more easy to make situ put me in situations that I would react as in we'll fall into Vicks as in like a person say this dude pisses me off I might do something evil to him yet I can still be a good guy or this faction pisses me off I could murder everybody in there and yet I can still I won't be judged on my more morality I still may be famed by another uh, faction for killing these people because I think what they say I murder all of Kaiser's legion and uh NCR is happy not because I've done this evil action but because I've getting gotten rid of these threats to them you know so Fallout New Vegas really corresponds kind of feelings and it ties ties their whole aspect of their game <coughs> into into like an emotional attach you to what you're playing shaping the world RPG type thing whereas Fable <coughs> I do enjoy Fable it's a great game but as far as the ultimate goal in making me the king and doing how I please how I fit the rule I mean there's just too many too many factors that will take you out of that world that you're playing in for example I may be getting to a really intimate quest uh, involving Reaver, but if he's cracking jokes the whole time, and uh, <clears throat> if I do this certain action just because there's a little bit more on the evil morality scale that I want to fill up, I'll do it just because I know the actions will either I'll laugh and I'll be taken out of the world or. I'll be trying to achieve these goals just for appearance and a certain level of power such as weapons or whatever. I mean, I'm sure they've balanced it out as in good looks kind of cool and dark looks kind of, but to a certain person, uh, one might be cooler over the other. Whereas in Fallout, all the armor is accessible whether you're good or evil. I mean, basically what Fallout New Vegas did was and I believe this is a very smart move that there's still the good and evil implementation people will react to that but um, the factions overpower the good versus evil morality and that's what I like about this game it really says hey you can choose to be this way or this way and that will affect things but siding with these people or these people and being loyal to whoever you side with even if that means yourself 
it affects the whole picture, which is kind of how it is in real life. I may be a complete douche, and I might side with church churches of America, and I might respect everybody in churches of America, and all this stuff, and I might murder Satanists of whatever. And they might shun me if killing is in there because of their churches of America, but who knows? They might be a cult. Uh, but yeah, they'll they'll praise me, and I mean, it's kind of like gangs and stuff. You know, they'll praise me and stuff. So. I think uh, Fall of New Vegas hit a little closer to the RPG aspect, closer to pulling me into the gameplay and stuff. I'm not taking anything away from Fable 3, but uh, this is just my personal opinion. The bugs are terrible, loading screens are fucking terrible, but what can you do about it? I mean, fix it, probably. That's probably what you could do about it. That stuff. But uh, yeah, that's my opinion on the Fallout New Vegas versus Fable 3 debate. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been RK994. Leave your comments, criticizing or approving. There we go. Talk to you guys later. Bye.